I have a power chair which has to be charged. Um, I need that to be able to get out and about. I have to be at home more. I don't work anymore, unfortunately. And that means that I need heating and lighting and the winter's coming, so we're going to use a lot more. I'm concerned, really. Yolanda Barker has multiple sclerosis and limited mobility. But despite being pleased about getting a little bit of government help with rising bills, she's still extremely worried about the future. I appreciate that we're getting something and it's a recognition that there is a, a higher bills that we're going to be facing. But £150 is probably not going to have cut it for very much. It's one of those things I never imagined in my lifetime that I would have to worry about whether I could actually heat my house. Um, I knew that we're on a low income and I knew that we've, but we've always managed to be reduced as much as possible. This, I don't think we can reduce anymore. From today up until mid-October, six million people with disabilities like Yolanda are to receive support with the cost of living. They'll receive a one-off payment of £150 on top of last week's energy cap, which the government says will save the average household £1,000 a year, as well as £400 given to lower-income families. But charities say the financial help won't go far enough, as disabled people are facing extra costs of around £580 a month. When, you know, you use electricity to charge your mobility aids, like a wheelchair, to refrigerate your medicine because it has to be kept at a certain temperature to be heating your home. This all has an impact. And for disabled people, this really affects their health. So this has gone past the stage of choosing between heating and eating now. While the government says it is supporting vulnerable people this winter, for those like Yolanda, the next few months look bleak trying to live a normal life with a disability but you're trying to live that life as okay as you can but there's nothing else that you can cream off there's nothing and she'll have some very tough decisions to make Catherine Nash five news